Welcome to Electra Online. Our next problem in the area of electricity and magnetism deals with an RL circuit, a circuit that has resistors and inductors. It has a battery, so that means steady state, current essentially, as soon as everything gets to the steady state point, there's not varying voltage. And notice we have a switch that closes at t equals zero. And the question is, what will be the current at the moment when the switch is closed? So let's read the problem. It says, the figure shows a circuit that contains four identical resistors with resistance two ohms and two identical inductors with, indu with inductance two millihenries and an ideal battery with the EMF of nine volts. The current I just after switch S is closed will be, and it gives us four possible answers. So what is the principle here? Well, the principle is how resistors and inductors react to a change in current. It turns out that resistors simply go along with whatever change there is in the voltage or the applied voltage. So before the switch is closed, there's no applied voltage. The moment the switch is closed, there's applied voltage and the resistors react immediately to that. However, inductors do not do that. Inductors oppose a change in current, so that's the key. L opposes, so L for inductors, opposes a change in current. Which means that if we were to draw a current versus time graph for an inductor, we get I versus time. Notice there will be some final current, but this is what an I versus T graph looks like for an inductor, which means that the moment the switch is closed, at that very moment, there's no current flowing through the inductors, which means that the current through this inductor is going to be equal to zero. Let's see here. So here, at T equals zero, I through this branch here will be zero, and I will be zero here, again, at the moment that T equals zero, at the moment that the switch is closed. Which means that those two branches act as if they're not there because no current is flowing through there, and only current will be flowing through this part of the circuit at the moment the switch is closed. Once you realize that, the problem becomes really easy because then essentially, if you don't look at these two branches, you simply have a battery to resistors, Notice that they state that it's an ideal battery. Ideal means that it does not have any internal resistance. So then we simply use Ohm's law. That means I equals V over R. The V is 9 volts. The R is 2 plus 2 ohms because you have two resistors in series. So that means 2 plus 2 ohms. There's two of them, which is equal to 9 volts divided by 4 ohms. That's a terrible looking ohm symbol. There we go. And so that would be equal to 2.25 amps. And notice there's an answer, answer C, that has that exact number. And so that has to be the answer. It's a very simple problem if you understand the principle. The principle is that inductors oppose a change in current. That's what's important, a change. So it goes from zero to its final value in this fashion. So initially the switch is closed at that moment no current through those two branches, and we simply have a very simple resistor circuit. And it's easy to find the current for that. All right, what's next?